All right, on to our second feature of the evening on Citizen Planet. And the devastating impact of climate change has spared no one. Young, old, literally every age group has borne its brunt. Well, it is for this reason that calls for the pivotal role of the youth continues to get louder as they are also valuable contributors to the climate action. Serfina Cheng Oma brings you the story of a 26-year-old graduate of technical and applied physics who is now making and selling briquettes in Kibwezi town in Makweni County. Here is more on Joel Mutia's venture that's changing the narrative in environmental conservation. Kibwezi town, Makweni County. This is the headquarters of a division that has over 80,000 people of whom over 4,600 are classified as urban. Residents here are reeling from the effect of climate change, diminishing water sources, and a concerning drop in the tree cover, aggravated by the cutting down of trees for charcoal burning. It is early morning when we get to Kalembuani village to meet a young man who is out to change this narrative, Joel Mutia, a briquette producer. The 26-year-old graduate of technical and applied physics began this venture in 2021 with the aim of managing the biomass waste from the nearby industries. Kibwezi town has several industries and all of them have a, a waste that is in the form of biomass. Kwa hivyo nikaona kuna changamoto kwa sababu hizi industries hazikuwa na good means of disposing of their biomass waste. And also there was a big challenge of charcoal production or the supply of charcoal around this area. From this to this, Joel explains the magic behind turning simple waste material into a useful source of energy. He starts by the ignition and combustion of the husks to turn them into solid carbon which are then crushed into powder, then mixed with a liquid binder. Starch is our mostly preferred binder that we use, and for our production purposes, we use our potato peels. So we boil the, the, the starch. When we boil it, it gets that uh, sticky aspect in a kuwa kama gum. So from that now, we add it to the, uh, to the powder that was initially crushed, and now we put it into the briquetting machine, and we mold them to become briquettes. It will take a maximum of three days for the briquettes, which are dried under a shade, to be ready for use or to be sold. This alternative source of energy has been a game changer in environmental conservation. We utilize industrial biomass waste, so we are reducing the, uh, the pressure on our forest resources because people can produce a charcoal or briquette in a sustainable way. The Industrial Biomass Waste Management Project has created employment for over 20 other young people and is part of an initiative supported by non-state actors led by the Valthunga Hilfe to create green jobs and support environmental conservation in rural Kenya. Men houses are uh, struggling to get food because uh, they are not... Uh, uh, farming enough food for the families owing to the low rains and the poor distribution of rainfall. And uh, that has uh, meant the local communities uh, and, uh, involve themselves in, uh, uh, in environmental degradation through uh, making a living through charcoal burning and uh, deforestation. By the end of this project we want to see changed livelihoods. We want to see more job opportunities for the youth uh, through green businesses that we are uh, supporting. Uh, we also want to basically just see uh, improved uh, economic growth in the rural areas of Makweni and Kitui. If the government can really take it upon itself to do uh, education, that environmental education and also sensitize the communities what they need to do. Let the community understand what their role is in resource uh, management, natural resource uh, governance and management. 
As the debate on climate change gains momentum globally, Joel insists that the youth cannot afford the luxury of taking a back seat. We are the ones who are energetic enough to push that uh, factor ahead to control the effects of climate change, to restore our environment because uh, the generations to come, they depend on us greatly. So if we don't do it right now, uh, we, shall, we shall have repercussions in the future. A step at a time, this is how this group of young people are changing the narrative in terms of the efforts they are putting in environmental conservation, an effort they hope will form an example worth emulating by other young people in Kenya. Safin Achieng Oma, Citizen TV from Kalimbuani Village, Makueni County.